I declare this the best Dave day ever. I'm, I'm going to say that. I don't think it's hyperbole. I think this is awesome. We've found out that the Big Ten will be returning to play football. We're actually recording this, I should say, on Friday, today, September 18th, 18th. Okay, just so you know, because things change so much every day now, we might get more informa information. We'll try to keep this um, talk kind of general. I'm with Dave Seaman, Standard Speaker, Sports Editor, Ken Kerr, SSP TV Sports Director, and Mackenzie Ocker, who is, um, inter uh, who is interning with us. All Big Penn State fans, I should say, I'm going to admit on air, I cried during Zombie Nation, which is not a song to get emotional to, but I was typing stories, Zombie Nation came on, and literal tears were rolling down my face. But this is just how important sports are. Like, I, my wife told me I was a different person that night when I found out there was going to be Penn State football. This was how important it is to kind of get things back if we could do them safely. We're saying this, and I'm not making light, but having fun too. There's obviously a lot of serious stuff going on, and, and you need to make sure athletes are safe. That was a big concern of the Big Ten. We're going to dive into that. Mackenzie, you're a former field hockey player for Hazleton area, played in college a bit. Would you feel safe? It, it would presented with what, what you've seen from the Big Ten, daily testing. If you were an athlete going out there this fall, weighing how much you want to play versus safety, would you feel safe? Would you be a little worried? Um, I would definitely be safe, just a little tad bit worried. I mean, they have all like the research and they're doing rapid testing every day and they have the experts and they said it's safe and then it's safe to play. So I'd be okay to go. So you wouldn't, you, your desire to play would outweigh any worry you'd have. You'd trust in your conference and in your school. Dave, there's so much stuff and we could get into, you know, editorializing and saying the Big Ten did this for this reason or that reason. I do believe they have athletes health at, at, at the center of all of this. They're going to do research into a lot of things. Do you, do you feel looking at it and with that, they're doing this the safe way. They're, they're making the right decision. I, I think they're, they're they're doing everything in their power. I mean, I, I think they got egg on their face. What I, I maybe they rushed. Maybe yeah. they didn't rush back. But they didn't have all the you know all the testing uh, uh, parameters that are now in place. So now they have that. Um, but you got to be smart too. Athletes got to look out for each other. Coaches got to look out for their athletes. But I think it's it's incumbent upon the athletes to look out for one another because if they want to play. Uh, they, can't, they, can't, they can't make silly decisions. You know, you got to, you know, uh, wear your mask. You got to be uh, socially distant. And if, if this is going to be a reality, uh, it's uh, like I said, it's important for everybody to do the right thing. And that right thing is, you know, wearing a mask in public. And, uh, and I think the student body has to react uh, in kind as well. I mean, there are a lot of, uh, we saw images, you know, from Penn State and other campuses that, students gathering and, uh, and that's not going to uh, allow for a season to happen and e eventually that's going to trickle down into, into the, uh, the football and you're going to lose some players. Again, is that the most important thing right now? Who knows? I mean, that, that's up for another argument. We should all be happy, excited that there are going to be football games and uh, I, I think the students and uh, uh, the, the population in general should act accordingly. I, I am excited about just seeing Pat Fryermuth out there with another year with Sean Clifford. I, you know what I'm excited to see more of? We talked about this in our preview last year. Sean Clifford running. Listen, this dude takes off sometimes and you don't expect it. And it happened a few times last year. And I thought that was critical for Penn State. Um, and people doubted that ability in him. I think that'll be a big part of the offense again this year, working that. And Dave, what excites you about this team? What worries you about this team? I, I think what really excites me is the leadership on this team. I like to look at the intangible kind of things, but there's a lot of great leadership. You mentioned Sean Clifford. But you have Michael Mennett, the uh, offensive lineman at center who's been around for a long time. You have Will Fries, another offensive lineman. There's going to be leadership on that offensive line. Uh, you know, you look at the backfield too. You have a stable of running backs there with Journey Brown, Noah Kane, Devin Ford, uh, a couple of freshmen coming in that are outstanding. You flip to the other side of the ball. You have Lamont Wade, you have Shaka Tony. Uh, um, we haven't mentioned Micah Parsons. No, he's not uh, with the team right now. But uh, we'll see. Mackenzie, the first time we did this with Ronnie, we kind of cut our college football talk. Everything got so crazy. But we mentioned the wideout. And I said, listen, Penn State's beaten Ohio State because of the wideout. And I think you kind of stopped me and you were like, well, there's going to be no fans there. And I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. Um, that still seems like it's going to be the case. You've played athletics in that. How much do you think that will factor in the Big Ten this season? Penn State won't necessarily have that home field advantage they usually have. You think that that matters? Um, no, I don't think so because they know they'll have all the fans cheering in on them at home. So they'll probably do it for the fans and hopefully get that one out for them. Everyone, I think, who's looking at the Big Ten right now is seeing Penn State and Ohio State and saying these are the two teams this year. Um, well, let me start there. Do you think Penn State could beat Ohio State this year? Could this be a year they win the Eastern Division? Oh, they, they, they certainly can. I mean, uh, you know, uh, you, Nobody knows so until you get into a couple games and are you going to have some injuries? Are you going to have some COVID cases yeah, too? That's yeah. going to impact a lot of different things. I mean, all it takes is one or two players uh, uh, out of the team 
uh, the scheme of things and you're talking about uh, different circumstances. So uh, a lot remains to be seen. Penn State can beat Ohio State at equal strength. Penn State gave Ohio State a, a tussle for maybe better part of three quarters last year. You know, slow start, uh, bad start to the second half, but they played them pretty well. They played them tight other years. So yeah, they could beat them. The talent is there, no doubt. Mackenzie, do you worry about other, any other teams in the Big Ten? I look at Michigan, and I just think there's going to be – like Michigan's kind of getting overlooked, and I just think they might be that one team who comes in there and just could zing you. Or, I mean, there's a lot of talent, too. I mean, Maryland has talent coming up. I mean, they, they still have some room to grow, but they have some talent coming up. Is there anyone else you worry about in the Big Ten, or do you think it is just Penn State and Ohio State? Um, I kind of worry about, like, all the teams because they're all ready to start up because of COVID, and they're, real, they're determined and willing to play again. So all that adrenaline rush, they want to – win it for the fans because they won't be there so but spoken like an athlete saying you're worried about everybody you got to take everybody you know seriously and 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 one game at a time for Penn State to be successful this year Dave what do they have to do what what has to be done well for for this team well I think the wide receivers definitely have to step up this year and uh, take the pressure off uh you know uh you know teams are going to be ganging up on uh Firemuth as a tight end uh you know the, the running backs you know they're Stop a there, yeah. yeah they're a known commodity uh, it's time for like a Jahan Dotson to lead a, a mostly inexperienced receiving core. Uh, people might not know these names, but these have been highly recruited kids. It's time for them to step up. Uh, if they can at least contribute somewhat to the passing game, uh, Sean Clifford's a little bit more accurate this year. There are moments last year where he had lapses where he wasn't as uh, uh, accurate in games. Uh, he needs to have that consistency. And, uh, and then they can write because the defense is going to be outstanding, I believe. I think it's going to be really fast, really tough. Uh, tenacious group. Uh, they keep them in most games. Uh, it's going to be up to the offense to make a couple plays, and when they have the lead, protect the lead late in the game, so like a time-consuming drive, a la Indiana last season. My concern is Dave the secondary. I think we saw it a few times. I think they'll be better this year. I mean, that's my feeling. I think they grew a bit, but last year there were some quarterbacks who had some big games against Penn State as Penn State was stopping the run. Penn State was beat deep a few times. So, but I think there is the talent there, and I, I think they'll, they'll be okay. Make sure you're following along. Um, great stuff in the standard speaker locally now as local sports are happening. You could read Dave's work there, Steve Stallone's works there, Bob Gaetano doing a great job with photos in the standard speaker. You'll see Mackenzie's work here on SSP TV, and I guess I'll be hanging around as long as they'll keep me and watch out for Big Ten and Penn State football. Thank you both for joining me today.